this video, I will be saying nipple, flange, and I will tell you to grip your shaft and grease your nipple. But it's okay, it's educational. Hi, Matt here from Educational Mechanics. Today we're going to show you how to change a universal joint on a prop shaft. Universal joints articulate through a hook joint and use needle roller bearings and cups, and they're greased through a nipple. They're quite often overlooked with a lack of grease. And with normal wear and tear, especially in off-road vehicles, they fall victim to excessive wear and premature failure. If the universal joint comes apart when you're driving, it can cause severe damage to the vehicle and injury to the people inside. So it's important to keep on top of your prop shaft maintenance. You can easily check for wear by hand. As you can see with this one, we've got it in a vise and a firm grip on the shaft, pulling it in all directions. If you find any wear in the prop shaft universal joints, they do need to be replaced. Before you start, make sure you've got the right UJ kit for the job. Your parts supplier should be able to give you the right part with just giving them your registration number, as all vehicles are now on a database. But it's always worth checking that you've got the right one before getting your hands dirty. We've checked our bearing part number, so we're sure we've got the right one. So, remove all the circlips that are there to retain the bearing cups. Hit the prop shaft with a mallet or a soft hammer. The hook joint will act as a kind of slide hammer and this should shock the first cup out. Do this until there's enough of the cup showing to clamp in a vise. Clamp the cup in a vise and work it out by turning it backwards and forwards. Using a mandrel, which is a special tool made for the job, Press the hook joint through the yoke. Again, press it far enough so the cup can be gripped in a vise. If you don't have the right mandrels, you can use a couple of sockets. One small enough to press the cup through, and another one on the other side big enough for the pressed out cup to go through. Holding the mandrels can be a bit fiddly, so you might want to get someone with really hairy arms to give you a hand. Clamp the second cup in a vise and work it out. Once the cup is out, remove the hook joint from the yoke of the prop shafts and try not to drop the needle rollers all over the floor. Repeat the same sequence using the vise and the mandrels or sockets and remove the bearing cups from the flange. Remove the hook joint from the flange and put it to one side, but don't throw it away just yet. Have a look at the yoke holes where the bearing cups sit. Give them a bit of a clean up and check for any damage. If there are any slight burrs, you can buff these out with a bit of abrasive paper. Do this for the yoke holes in the prop shaft and the flange.
Take the new hook joint out of the packet along with the new circlips and if there's a grease nipple fitted, take it out and put it somewhere safe. Have a look at each cup and its needle roller bearings, making sure they're all there and are new and complete. If you put a little bit of grease in the cups over the needle rollers, it will help to keep them in place when you're rebuilding the joint in the prop later and prevent you from searching for them when they all drop out. Now, take the nicely greased new joint that you're rebuilding the prop shaft and remove all the end caps. Put an end cap into the bottom of the yoke, then insert the hook joint firstly through the top hole, then slide it carefully into the bottom cup. Make sure that you've got the grease nipple hole on the prop shaft side of the joint, which is facing away from the flange. If you put it on the flange side, you won't be able to get a grease gun on the nipple to carry out your maintenance. Carefully fit the top cap, making sure the needle rollers sit nicely over the shaft of the joint. Put the assembled yoke into a vise fitted with soft jaws and slowly squeeze it together. Checking the joint is going nicely into the cups and needle rollers as you go by wiggling it. If it won't wiggle, stop and check the position of the roller bearings. When you press both cups in as far as they can go into the yoke, take it out of the vise. Using a mandrel or socket, use the vise to press the end cap in. Press it bit by bit and keep checking until the circlet groove is fully visible. Put the flange in the vise and fit the circlet. If you put one finger on the circlip, it's less likely to ping off and either hit you in the eye or make you get on your hands and knees and spend 10 minutes looking for it. Again, for the other side, using a mandrel or socket, use the vise to press the end cap in. Press it bit by bit and keep checking until the circlip groove is fully visible. Put the flange in the vise and fit the circlip. Now Put the prop shaft into the vise with the yoke holes top and bottom. Put an end cap into the bottom of the yoke, then insert the hook joint firstly through the top hole, then slide it carefully into the bottom cup. Carefully fit the top cap, making sure the needle rollers sit nicely over the shaft of the joint. Put the assembled yoke into a vise fitted with soft jaws and slowly squeeze it together. Checking the joint is going nicely into the cups and needle rollers as you go by wiggling it. 
Again, if it won't wiggle, stop and check the position of the roller bearings. When you've pressed both cups in as far as they can go into the yoke, take it out of the vise. Using a mandrel or socket, use the vise to press the end cap in. Press it bit by bit and keep checking until the circlet groove is fully visible. Put the flange in a vise and fit a circlip. Remember, putting one finger on the circlip. Again, for the other side, using a mandrel or socket, use the vise to press the end cap in. Press it bit by bit and keep checking until the circlip groove is fully visible. Then put the flange in the vise and fit a circlip. Fit the grease nipple to the joint. And with a grease gun, pump in grease until it's seen coming from the cup seals. Wipe off any excess and revel in your own glory as you have successfully replaced a prop shaft universal joint. And you've saved yourself a bit of money and learned something new. Thanks for watching.